Hey guys, Sam here once again, and we are picking off on Canarium Part 4. Here again with the old fuck as always, and let's get started. Let's pick up where we left off. We had some sort of a, a trip, and um, we are now in a room that we did not, you know, this isn't our room. We just appeared here. So, we got some sketches of the South Pole. Yeah. Interesting stuff. We got this. Oh. Some type of uh, handle again or something. A lever. Okay. And we've got this. Pronunciation. Devices. Whatever the hell that is. Let's read this baby. Oh, that's it. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. We got a thing. Oh, we got another thing. Oh, there we go. Somewhat humanoid in form, these sculptures initially reminded us of the Terracotta Army sculptures, carved as a funerary art, buried with the first emperor of China to protect him in the afterlife. But, judge, by, but judging by the writings on some of the bas reliefs, now we believe that these wooden puppets or golems were used to carry out some tasks for their masters, just like the Egyptian Usha Batu or whatever. Funerary figurines, which are the servants of their owner in the hereafter. We saw the golems in several sizes, and it was terrifying to see the huge ones sitting in silence on the carved and polished rock stools as if waiting for a command. Very freaky stuff right there. Let's see if we can turn our light on it. Interesting stuff. Okay, it looks like we got another page. There are a lot of gateways leading to dark and damp corridors that were mostly covered in a carved in ages past. Some of them were co covered by strange ivy-like plants swaying back and forth despite there being no external force to move them. They seem to come from levels below, creeping through crevices in the rock walls to stop probable superstitious group gossip, or gossip amongst the crew. Dr. Barlow, our botany expert, personally started to examine them. Look at those little sculptures in the walls. Oh, wow, that's creepy. Yeah. And then there's a hand right there. Webbed hand. Like that. Big old sculptures. The first submarine explorations revealed what was lying in the underwater caves. The most striking features were the structures with openings in them, like doors and windows. They made us wonder whether those caverns had been carved underwater or if they had been submerged at a later date and thus had become redundant to those who had carved them. Very interesting. I'm going to take that. Mine. Okay. <laughs> Trophy item. Okay, there we go. Um, here we go. Another Bucky book. Let's see what's in here, too. Oh, nice. Got all this stuff. Antarctica, a scientific historical timeline of the unoccupied continent. Brown University Press, 1982. Okay, so that's cool. We'll just leave that there. <laughs> Got a note. Yep. Dr. Barlow's note on the Diversae mixture. Diversae... Or whatever the fuck. The legendary drink of the oldest myths. I heard about the elusive mixture decades ago when I was writing my thesis on Salvia Divinorum, also known as the Sage of the Diviners. And it's an entheogenic plant, uh, usually, well, excuse me, used mostly in religious or sh shamanic, shamanic ceremonies. For centuries, no one could gather any information about uh, it or other than its legendary mystical psychoactive properties. In some sources, it was the drink of the gods, while in others, a key for opening gates to places that lie beyond the conventional human senses, the sole bridge to be passed in order to leave the bodily restrictions of the flesh. Most scholars would even kill for a hint about one of its lost ingredients. Okay. Um, that's something I was on the lookout for throughout my career. A new formula is forming in my mind. I feel like there is a chance for me to produce, if not the original, then a variant of the legendary mixture, Diversi, whatever the fuck. With the new clues I have uncovered during my work here. Okay, there we go. Was that bad boy? And let's this bad boy. Ah, older city ruins, Cyclopean city, mountains of madness. Where are the mountains of madness? Okay, they're back there. There's like an older ruins. Okay, let's fuck with this bad boy. Oh, that's right. We <laughs> can't do anything. Okay, so we'll just uh, get out of this old place. Oh, we are still down here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We really have left. The familiar seems yep. to be gone. Can't fuck with the plant uh, anymore. Yep. See if anything's popped <laughs> up in the drawers for us. Nope. Yep. 
the Voynich, the Voynich manuscripts. That's what those plant drawings are from. Yeah, I'm the one who told you that, buddy. What now? I'm the one who told you that. Where are you? Yeah. Where are you now? Okay. Let's check back down here. Yeah. yeah. Yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Who is this? Yeah. It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. Alright, I suppose we'll leave this area now. Right? Let's go visit that tree. Oh yes, yeah, so we will check out this tree. old tree of life thing. We already looked at that, right? Yeah. yeah. The old Derby Pikmin thing. Ah, it's the Glossopterus. It's a nice looking tree, I suppose. Yeah. Why is it here in this goop? Yeah, that's strange. What's the significance of this fucking thing? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, and someone even cut the branches uh, off at the bottom. Yeah. That's weird. Trimmed it. <laughs> Alright, where are we headed? <coughs> this way. Yeah. It's stuck. I suppose we're going to the link elevator to follow that weird shadowy figure who right farts away. everywhere. Oh! Yeah. Whoa! What was that? Right. Uh-oh. I don't know if you can hear me, but... I am trying to... search it. This is the only way. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Damn it. Who was he? Who was he? He doesn't even know who it was. Jeez. Let's see if we got anything on our latest conversation has been had to do, General. What's that? Oh, I can't take out my thingy thing. Oh, this is just open now. Last time it wasn't, right? Oh, look, here we go. Alright. Link elevator has been set up. It can now reach both the tower and bottom levels below the base. Camp equipment and parts for the portable submarines are being transported to the first campsite, tower base, cavern entrance. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to go up, huh? Sure. Let's see. Did we just do that one other door? Oh, up there? and down. Good. So oh, we need that handle. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, see, I just there put it go. on. Oh, you got it. Okay, good, good. So which one's up? You want to go up? Tower. Cavern. Yeah, let's go up. Nothing wrong with going up. What is this area? Oh, it looks to be like the a tower, isn't it? This is supposedly the tower. Yes, it looks very ancient. I guess this is not our tower, is it? This is their no. tower. Yes, this must have been their creations. This is not ours. They must have built that part down there around everything oh. else. So here we found yeah. something. Let's check our little thing. Oh, we still can't check that. So we're gonna take this though. Uh, looks like some type of uh, thing that's gonna. We're gonna. Drill? Drill it down, basically. Twist it. It's an ornamental metallic oh, object, okay. apparently. Let's put on our little thingy thing. Still can't take out our, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, goodness. Uh, Again. There's a little thing cool swirling thing around. Little... I guess I'm going to have to go towards it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to get closer and closer to it. So, let's see what happens. This fucking whirlpool thing. Oh. oh, this is amazing. Most of the ground level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms, and thus weathered into shapeless ruins. However, both the ground level and the cavern systems below are clearly displayed in these bas reliefs. Boss. The most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I what? believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires which somehow resemble a lighthouse. They all seem like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. Hmm. Could 
Could there be some sort of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use? I'm not sure. What do you say about a practical use? Am I supposed to stick I'm it in here? I'm not sure. Journal. Oh, okay. Religious meaning. Oh, okay. Pyramid. The face at the top. Wow, that's crazy. All that survived. We got this old spinny thing. Looks like a bigger, gigantic one of what was on my desk in the uh -huh. beginning. Doesn't it? Can you do something with it? Possibly. Let me just. Yeah, I can probably put oh, it in here. Nope. Never mind. Yeah. I can't. We can also walk out. Oh, we're gonna look out there in a second, yeah. I guess. Let's see. Check the other side. There looked like there was something. Yes, I am. There's nothing. Oh, I thought there was a way to something. To put well, you were wrong, weren't you? I was wrong. You were wrong. All right. So this is the strong life that can be seen from ground level. Oh yeah, there's a light. Oh, this is in oh, it. Oh, there's a yeah. So this is the strong life that can be seen from ground level. It's just pushing it out. Huh. Yeah. Just shooting that light out. Huh. Seems to be nothing we can do. Yeah. Maybe on our way back some event will uh Maybe. Oh, I still can't take my thingy thing out. He's talking about practical use. Have you looked up at the ceiling? What's the ceiling look like in there? Not just playing. Alright, I just heard something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing any practical use for any of this mm -hmm. shit. Just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Old triangle. Mm -hmm. Still can't take out my shit. Well, that was a waste of time. Oh, look, we can still go up? Try it. Nope. No. Oh, finish what? Finish this level. Was there another door we haven't looked at? They were locked, weren't they? Oh, well, I thought there was one we hadn't gotten around to yet. Alright. Well, I thought For they sure. were all locked. There's another one of those light globes. There appears to be, yeah. There we go. An axe. Camping axe, huh? And paper. I know. Gosh. There's some strange vegetation filling most of the hallways. As amazing as it is deadly, there's a hidden world right beneath the upward base. And even though I was prepared to find such a place, it was way different than the imagination or than imagining alone. We tried to cut our way uh, through, but the plant reacted with the highly poisonous gas seemingly coming from its glowing buds. Uh, I issued a warning to stop anyone going near any of these plants they came across in any of those caverns. Oh, something's digging. I also noticed a strange phenomenon after I spent some time examining a sample from the plant. It occurred to me that individual vines grow and shrink in length on demand. It also seems as though it can move even though there are no air currents, and this movement seems too regular to be caused by natural factors. This may sound strange, but I have the notion that it is conscious, at least on some level. Hey, anyone here? Dr. James? Dr. Morgan? Anybody? Well, we'll start out going left. Fuck it. Where are they, for God's sake? Oh, look at this. Weird tentacle-y thing. Ooh, oh, those are flowers. flowers. Never mind. Could be coral. Oh, what 
down there. Yep. Been huge where we build this stuff. Oh, let's stick it in. There you go. Let's turn it. Some sort of clock or something. We'll start spinning around. Oh, we just did we do that? Spin it some more or something? Or wind it up? I don't know. Let's check it out down here. Hold on. What's that? There's a light beam. Why don't you cut through that light beam? These are the star creatures. Look. Oh, okay. Yeah, I figure we need to move it. Yeah. That caved in. Yeah, I suppose we're gonna have to move it. Can't pick anything out of there. Yeah, we'll have to turn it again. Yeah, turn it a few more times. There. Oops. Oh, here we go. Yep. Oh. Whoa. There's those doesn't plants. Like the light does it. Ooh, it's revealed a secret. It's dying. Yes, it has. I didn't even know those plants were there. So the stones just melted away, or they were never there? It was no, some the illusion. The plant melted away. Oh, so they, they were covered there's up just a bunch of plants. Okay. Yeah. But you couldn't see this. So there might be multiple uh, entrances. Side yes. Entrances yes. Like yes. This, so I have to check it out. Look at this. What is this? Wow, look at that. Uh oh, sprouting. Is it sprouting? Insects. Those insects? Uh, there's like something. Insects. Little egg things over there. There's mo yeah, there's... What are those? Humans? Those things, they look... Almost they look very humanoid, humanoid. yes. Huh. How do I save again at five? <laughs> Can I touch the plant? Can I get out my camping axe? That's what I want to know. Let's see. How do I, uh... There we go. Oops. Let's see. Be careful, the plants release a toxic gas. Yes, I, I, I'm aware. Okay. Thank you so much. Alright, you're welcome. I don't know how to use the dang thing, though. <laughs> Whatever. There's that toxic shit, I'm guessing. Must be, yeah. Let's get this out, because I like this more. Um, wait, is this it? Yeah, the left arm device. Let me know what's going on. Okay. Ooh, look at that. It looks almost Egyptian with yeah. the little ears. Yeah. What is it? Is that a skull? Looks like it's been turned back. Reptilian skull. Yeah, it's, facing, on the it's facing the other way, yeah. Very weird, what's that? Forgot my flashlight. <laughs> They're all missing here. Such crumbling. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Is going on, dude? Uh -huh. I feel like something's fucking following us, almost. You know? Something's waiting for us. There's something right there. Or is this a gigantic one? Is that one of the things? No. Okay, that's oh, that's one big old. Was this some sacrifice? I don't know. It looks like blood or something, doesn't it? Yes it does. 
Let's see what this is all. It looks like sacrificial uh, yeah. placements or whatever. Guess we know which way we're going, though. Oh, whoa! Uh -oh. oh! Whoa! What was that I've just whoa. seen? Oh, wow. What did you see? I didn't see anything. Did I didn't you see anything discernible, anyone? Look at that. It, look at his face. Yeah. Look at that. It's like yeah. an eagle Very or nice. a bird. Very. Okay. Can't open these little pots. Oh, I fell off. Damn. Am I supposed to be up on it? I don't know. I'll clip it again and go straight on where the eye oh, just goes down. Wow. Where's that thing pointing to? Right there? Yeah. Around the chambers because that one chamber is a bit different yeah. from the others. Yeah, I can actually go in those one and that one. Yeah. Where oh, I came from. Uh -huh. Oh, this one's different. Yeah, it's different. Weird. Oh, this it's one's different also too. different. Different again. Yeah. yeah. Are all of them different? Mm -hmm. I thought they were several of them were the same to me. There's that. Yeah, there's that. Okay. Don't seem to be anything behind them. Alright, let's see what's back here. Glowing crystals. Very neat looking crystals. Uh oh. Some, some plants here. Eh? Looks like we have a couple choices down here, huh? Oh, yeah. We'll go <laughs> left. <laughs> okay. Wow. There's a weird mollusk with the star fish thing. Oh, look at the tentacles off its face. <laughs> I need to show them. Uh -oh. Ooh. Symbols. Yeah. Stone glyphs, okay. So those are obviously going to come in handy. Yeah. Down here, I suppose. Somewhere. What is this? Secret door? Looks like a door doesn't. Oh, oh this stonework seems weak. Ah, I have an idea. Secret. Yeah. Whoops. Look at this one. Look at that orb. That's look at it, the yeah. pretty figures it makes. And if that was sealed up, who's kept the fire burning in it? Yeah, that's very true. Mm, that's interesting. And the candles. There's A the pine honey pinecone pineal gland. Yep. Look at that. Very weird. Yep. 
Read the description. A metallic flower-like object with a pine cone-shaped design at its center. The pine cone is often a system use a symbol for the third eye and pineal gland. Nope. Wow. I can take it. Yeah. Gonna piss that guy off. <laughs> Taking his things. Yep. Save again. So we've been doing a lot of uh, yeah. searching and discovering mm -hmm. this time around. Look at this big old area. There just happens to be coming. Uh, Plants in it. We're not that deep, are we? Because look, Guess snow's not. coming through and just everything. Yeah. There's another one right there. Yeah. Ah, Dr. Blake's notes. What insane discovery have you made in such a short period of time? Oh, it looks like I'm about to have a thingy, vision or whatever. Yeah. Um, even Professor William Dyer's shocking revelations were not enough to prepare us for this. For seeing is really believing, but those discoveries have also caused an uproar amongst the crew members. Whose assumptions indicate that the fate of this expedition will end in ruin. Um... Some serious mental disorders are the prime focus right now. As a temporary solution, we have prohibited this area to be the rest of the members. Ah, uh, first thing that most of us are not ready to comprehend such a thing. After surveying the flooded walls ahead with our basic diving equipment, it was concluded that it would be utter to uh, divide the exploration team into two or more to carry out the exploration more effectively. According to the latest plan, we will send one or two teams with submarines to see if a route exists for us to continue in the depths of the submerged, submerged tunnels, and the rest will explore on land. Dr. Morgan C. Blake. Wow. So we're about to see some shit. I'm sure. I'm sure of it mm -hmm. right now. Let's see. Yep. Uh -oh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, the evolution of what some type of shit it looks uh, like, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're about to see uh -huh. us again. Yep. Hmm. If I am not mistaken, this relief depicts that the overgrown floor we came across at the various points in the cavern, uh, can be cleared away with an iridescent device, a tool or a talisman. Curiously, we still haven't been able to find the roots of those plants. They seem to seep out of these caverns by passing through crevices which look as if intentionally made for them. What other secrets might these silent halls conceal from us? Ooh. Mm. Well, we already knew the thing about the lights, or else we wouldn't even yeah, be here right yeah. now. Look at those weird mm -hmm. things. Yeah. Something's in the water. I think that was just us walking in was, oh, okay. puddles. Alright, maybe. I hate that rock falling, always gets me. Yeah, no. Ooh, here we go again. Yeah. Oh, this won't be a bad one, will it? As we plan, my team will continue exploration through this gateway. Other expedition parties can commence when ready. Do oh, look okay, so that we, go through or not? we can't. Well, we can't go through. You're not see? Do you oh, not okay. fucking see that? Alright. The other expedition party seems to be dead or trapped. Okay. Just by, uh. You know, common sense. Yeah, man, they're fucked. Gotta be fucked. Ooh. Looks like old five pointed thingy. What do we see over here? The middle. There we go. Oh, a glyph. Let's see how do I do this. Select. Oh, I had to step on it. Oh, okay.
Maybe I'm supposed to do them in order? Or I don't know. Huh. What would that order be? Oh, there's oh, another look. step here. Yep. Very interesting. Oh, the glyphs. Oh, there's five holes. Yeah, we don't know which one to do yet. Yeah. And what is this? Oh, looks like something's missing. Here. We don't even have that piece yet. I bet it's in the middle. Hold okay. down over here. Yeah. Just, yeah, we'll probably find that missing piece somewhere over here. Oh, tombs. Yep. Here's something. Oh, this is it. This is exactly what we needed, right? One, two, three, four, yeah. five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, read the description. An ornamental italic object with an elaborate sign, a sign used for protection from power ent powerful entities carved on one of its faces. And what we will do here is take a picture of this so we can just remember. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, I can take it. <laughs> wow, okay. I I'm not that smart, I guess. Um, Alright, we'll finish up these two and then we'll end this episode because I know we are already over 30 minutes. And there does not appear to be anything there. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here too. Okay, good. And we'll check this one now. Watch there be a freaking elder god in there. Pop up and eat me. <laughs> nothing. Nothingness. Okay, let's see. It's over. Is that it? What? Is that everything? Nope. Haven't checked these. Oh, there's another tomb. Oh, no, this no, one looks no. uh, miles more important than I can walk up there. there and put the glyphs in there as well. Interesting. And there's another one of these, uh, what is Glossoroptus? Yeah. Glossoroptus trees or whatever. Yeah. Alright, let's open this bad boy. Look at that. Oh, oh. Oh, dear. Uh, is that one of us? Uh oh, what's that thing in there with me? Oh, that's one of us, isn't it? Yes. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. The plants, they know. Take it. Oh, Whoa. oh, my gosh. Uh oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Whew. Well, that was a bit weird. He's wearing it? his thing, too. Yeah. That was fucking right. nuts, dude. Up that up weird steps, thing that I just guess. came. Wow. All right, we're gonna end that oh, right God. there, just because that's the perfect time to end. Honestly, you know, <laughs> suspense. So that means you have to watch the next one. Isn't that right? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to join us in. I think what five? The next one's gonna be five, correct? Mm -hmm. Next one. Five. five. It's gonna be a good one. See you guys.